Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome. This is a new episode on how to. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified. Today we're going to talk about Navidrome. After my tutorial on the podcast server, someone asked me if I knew any script like this one, for example, to store all the music. And here we go. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Navidrome on Docker, because this is also another request that was has to be installed on docker and i'm going to show you the demo now on the navidrome.org website again all the information in the description below and as you can see here is very simple nice layout and you can actually see the way everything gets displayed the more or less all kind of album so once you click on the album you will see all the song for the relevant you can go and list it as a songs as artist most played top rated again you know it's very self-explanatory as you can see here i just went on this collection and here you can find all the songs for this collection all right guys so without any delay let's start and let's see how easy to install navidrome all right we are on the hub docker here now and here the navidrome i already created it just so you don't have to go around and waste your time in creating this well it's the actual yaml you know for docker composer so anyway everything is done here all you got to do is to make sure you change the last line 13 to your server now let me show you what i'm doing here now so you can actually have an idea i just logged into my docker this is by the way the uh the, the actual script that i'm going to log in as my own username hal okay so what i done here i create a directory mk.ir again if it's not there don't worry you don't have to actually do it that will do it for you all right and the first thing you got to do look at the gid if you want to put that one as well just in case in this installation you don't have to but on the uh i believe on the navidrome it actually asks you for the permissions so you might want to do that on yours it depends how you have installed docker so you can actually copy that and you can actually add it to your list here all right so uh or your code whatever you want to do so we're going to use a port up to make it easy to you know to uh to do it with the stacks so i'm going to create a new stack but first of all let me copy this one here right click copy go back create a new stack and i'm going to paste it now the uh the schedule is one hour and again you can change that to few minutes if you want to you you can you know it was it only scans the actual directory um once an hour every hour so again you can change that if you want to uh, again as you can see the last line has been changed to music the one I, if it's not there it's going to be created again you make sure you actually do you know whatever you need to do there and uh, what i'm trying to say is make sure you go the right path okay so all the ports as you can see here are not being used all right so that's good if it's be used change the one on the left don't change the one on the right and once you are ready all you got to do is deploy the stack and that's all you need to do deploy the stack there and just wait until the installation is complete so the installation has been done deployed let's go to containers and as you can see it's already starting so we'll leave it for a while there let's have a look at the information I always look at this one a lot of people don't but again you don't have to you can click this one and see what is going on and as you can see the media fold is empty aborted scan logically there is no music and i'm going to show you as well how to do that as well but don't forget the schedule is every one hour but we're going to cheat a little bit let's go and there now the first thing i'm going to do as you can see works with correct port i'm going to create the username now this installation because it logically is internal ip won't be available to the outside world you need to do a lot of things with uh, nginx again don't forget to look at my tutorials so you can actually learn how to expose this to the outside world i'm going to copy this password so it makes it a lot easier for me to log in to most tutorials so they all share the same username and password those ones will never be shown outside so there is no worry there as you can see everything looks good and works but there's no album yet and we're going to address this in a second you got several uh, templates is dark theme light and so on different languages 
you can have a default view where you want it to go recently added will be always the last ones so anyway uh here you got uh, access it with the last fm list of brains for you know the download information about the music so now what we're going to do we're going to let's have a look at the playlist if we can actually do anything there no it won't let's do it so anyway those activities and here to refresh the folder but only on the actual not the scan but just the actual folder of the system so anyway now let's go and let me show you how to upload files i'm going to use filezilla right so let's open uh filezilla and this is for myself again it's going to be a different ip i'm going to use the ip of the server of the docker server in this case i'm going to use you're going to use the username and the password that i use for the ssh exactly the same thing i'm going to use port 22 not port 21 and as you can see the actual folder is there now i already got some files that i have downloaded from uh, youtube those are safe to be played so it will be much much easier so i don't get any issues all right let me open up this so i make a little bit more space let me paste where the music assets are here we go all right i'm gonna copy it a lot oh, let me copy first the first one see how it goes if you get any error no no errors so as i told you earlier on got no issue with permissions so now i'm gonna copy every single file just a little wording again as i told you earlier on uh, i'm going to show you now it only goes and you might need to wait one hour with the actual code i told you otherwise you need to change that to a different one that it might recycle or for example it goes through you know the actual folder or scan the actual folder much much faster than the one hour okay so my, i cheat a little bit what i done i just restarted the uh, the container and it shouldn't be okay as you can see you need to change the schedule from one hour maybe to 30 minutes or 10 minutes it's up to you whatever you want to do all right i'm going to leave that to you let's go back to the containers navidrome as you can see i'm going to restart it so i'm going to cheat a little bit for the first time then it's going to be one hour you know after that container has restarted and logically it was aborted now we have the album as you can see because uh, on the last line i know it just went a little bit faster it actually scanned the folder and you can see now all the pictures uh, sorry all the songs that have been uploaded no pictures for this and the reason uh, it's very simple there is no metadata on those files and even if they were logically they're not part of for example you know an album so anyway let's listen to the music as you can see it works and you know this is how simple it is to install navidrome again you can go and upload again new files you can change the metadata it's up to you how you want to do it again it's so simple that everybody can actually do it so anyway guys so thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did making it don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to share the more you share is better for the algorithm for me so again guys i'll see you next time and a new episode will be again on docker hopefully have a nice time